Welcome, friends, and um, Happy New Year to all of us that are gathered here for this live stream worship today. As I was doing the kids' message about the three kings, it took me back to memories when I was a kid in Sunday school. I had two older brothers, and every year we did the nativity play, and every year the three Kirkland boys were the three kings or the three magi, and uh, we never had to worry about what our part would be year to year. We were always uh, the three kings. Well, friends, I made it through another Christmas, my 32nd year as a pastor, dealing with COVID restrictions, nativity scenes, Christmas Eve worship services, Advent, raising money. Christmas was on a Saturday this year. Sunday rolls around the next day, the 26th of December. After leading worship that day, I came home and said to myself, Ah, now I can relax and enjoy Christmas. So the first thing I did, I went home and I turned on the TV set and I said, oh, now I can watch some Christmas specials. You know, the Grinch, Charlie Brown Christmas, Scrooge. I turned on the TV and in my mail way, I started at the number three and clicked until I got to 700. I clicked and I clicked and I clicked. Where is Rudolph? Where is Frosty? I clicked more. Where's Scrooge? Where is It's a Wonderful Life? I clicked and clicked and clicked. I clicked so fast that the cable box had to reboot. Where is Christmas? Later in the day, I drove in the car and turned on the radio station around here that plays Christmas songs during the holidays. I couldn't wait. There were no Christmas songs. It was Hall and Oates. I switched my radio to the subscriber service I use with their two Christmas holiday channels. Gone! As I drove around, stripped naked Christmas trees are on the curb, waiting to be ground up. Deflated plastic Santas, candles and stars, wait! It was like Christmas had come and gone in a day. And I was saying, no, no, not yet! We need to learn about the 12 days of Christmas. You know, on the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, and these are not the days before Christmas. The 12 days of Christmas are the days after Christmas. The 12 days of Christmas from Christmas to Epiphany, January 6th. Today we're in day nine. Christmas is not over yet. The prophet Isaiah reminds us that we have to get the coming of the wise people to the manger before we can leave Christmas behind. The prophet begins with these words. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Think about those action words for us today. Arise, shine, light glory. Powerful words that will take us during the season of Epiphany until we begin the season of Lent, which begins March 6th. Let's think about these words. Arise. <laughs> we have been through the holidays, off work, out of school, well, guess what, friends? We've got to get going again. We've got to rev up our engines, get our energy back for the new year. The prophet is calling us to wake up. And then the prophet is telling us to shine. And I think about the words of shine, Jesus, shine, that we love so much in our community of faith. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Light. Isaiah was writing to God's people in a time of deep, deep darkness. He promised that even though darkness was covering them, something good was about to happen. 
And that good is in the person of Jesus Christ in the form of a baby. And it is from this story of Isaiah that we have the Christmas carol of We Three Kings. Arise, shine, light. And the last action word is glory. Majestic splendor. We hear from the nativity story, an angel of the Lord stood around them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. The Christian writer Frederick Buechner defines glory as this. He calls it God's style. God's style. How God is revealed in the world. Starry nights, rainforest, a sunrise, ocean waves. God's style is reflected in the Gospel of Matthew, where Matthew tells us that the Magi followed a star to Bethlehem and paid Jesus homage. They were showing God's glory. God's style. God's style revealed in the ministry of Jesus Christ, of healing, teachings, and miracles. We give thanks for the coming of Christ's light into the world. A light that drives away despair. A light that drives away isolation. A light that drives away darkness. Whenever we fall in destructive behaviors and wander into the dark ways of life, Jesus is there for us, offering the gift of forgiveness. Whenever we become isolated or alienated from others, we have the gift of Christian connection with Christ and with each other. Christ's light helps us to see the world in a new light, one that reveals people around us, not as enemies or opponents, but acknowledging and seeing that all of us are children of God, made in the image of God. Christ's light gives us strategies for navigating the challenges of our lives. Forgiving instead of punishing. Working for the common good instead of just our own selfish self-interests. Think about how we are dealing with COVID and how we are called to not only look at what is important for us, but what is important for our neighbor, for all children of God. I was thinking this week about how we as a community of faith have shown God's glory, God's style, through the ministry throughout this year that we have participated as a community of faith that we know as Doolin Church. And I wanted to share with you some of those The first is to have in-person and virtual worship, that we are able to reach beyond the walls of our sanctuary. I think about the wonderful Christmas concert that we had this year, over 600 viewers. I think about our Christmas Eve worship services, over 500 viewers. I think about our giving, how has it increased by people that give in person and people that use Vanco that use our website to give. Worship attendance at Doolin is up. Giving is up because we want to show God's glory. And what are some of those ways? But we had significant times during Christmas and Easter to help ministries. Some so others might eat to provide food for those living in poverty. Redbird Mission in Appalachia that we helped a dental clinic. Free Minds Book Club, which helps incarcerated people who have lived in darkness in the prisons. As a pastor, friends, I have been to prisons. It is dark. Rebuild Together, where we had persons actually go to a site in Arlington County and fixed up a house so they could be warmer, drier, and safer for the persons living there. ESL, can you believe it? We've had ESL for so long in our church, and our teachers rally and are doing it virtually and will continue into this new semester as well. 
home stretch, which helps people in so many ways, helping to get a job, job skills, ESL training. The homeless shelter, which is down the street, as they try to help people uh, that need a place to live, that need a place to spend the night. See early on, where we help the Child Rescue Center. We did the angel tree. We provided gifts to three families. And we did it the easy way where you just get it online and it's sent to their home. And you, can you imagine the joy that each of those family members got as their package came to their home and they saw who it was for? Their eyes lit up. Their darkness became light because we were spreading and sharing God's glory. We help those who are in darkness of tragedies, of floods, tornadoes, and what happened in Afghanistan. And then my own little personal ministry I do is with gift cards. So we have a ministry here, gift cards, and so we don't have that in person. So what I do is I keep gift cards in the car or with me. And when I see someone in need, I'll hand them the card and I'll say, this is from Doolin Church. We love you. And you'll see the brightness. It's not just the card given to them, but it's the person who's giving and the message Offering them a message of love, of God's glory. Lives are changed. We are changing lives because we are sharing God's glory with others. And friends, the list goes on and on and on. God's glory. In a few minutes, we are going to be sharing God's glory as we come to the communion table to experience the light of Christ in our lives. As we move into the year 2022, let's think about how individually we can be God's glory to others in the world, the stranger, our neighbors, our friends, and how we can be Christ's light. And my friends, that is the good news in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we all say together, Amen. The hymn is, What Child Is This?